Hello YouTubers and fellow Otaku of the world. My name is Stephen Hawking Kuhn, and I was asked by Mookmaster to narrate this video because he thinks that he sucks at public speaking. At production time, Anime Expo 2011 is about 274 days, 3 hours, 31 minutes, 35 seconds, and 492 milliseconds away. Hooray! This is a three-part series on the upcoming Anime Expo 2011. I've made this list of tips for newcomers to anime conventions in general and for people planning to go to Anime Expo 2011 next year. Most of the information here is not specific to Anime Expo in Los Angeles, so feel free to use it to your liking. This is part one. I've also included some suggestions for the Society for the Promotion of Japanese Animation to improve Anime Expo in the coming years. That's part two. And lastly, I've included several suggestions that are funny and totally make sense, but will never be implemented for obvious reasons. Happy face. Watch part 3 for lulz. The number one most important rule that I cannot stress enough. Bring friends. Enemy conventions are really, really boring without anyone to hang out with. You should buy your pass as early as possible. It's much cheaper that way. Anime Expo starts selling theirs in July. Prices generally go up as the event draws near. You should try to buy yours at least six months in advance. Parking at convention centers, particularly the LACC, is not cheap. Not in the slightest. It should work out cheaper if you commute or do some sort of carpool party van arrangement with your Wii U buddies. Pre-registration line, wait times are three hours on day zero. It becomes 2 hours from 6 to 8 a.m. on day 1. The wait then becomes 20 minutes or less after 9 a.m., so plan accordingly. Here's what 2010's pass look like. Apparently, Moot Master was the 6192nd schmuck to pony up for a 4 day pass. You can choose a nickname, so choose wisely, because you might not be able to change it later. Some people put down their cosplay character's name. I'm not entirely sure what the circles in the back are for, but they have several, including one for cosplay and one for artist, whatever that means. You can expect to spend anywhere from $30 to $350 on merchandise, anime, books, manga, and other related crap, depending on how big of an otaku you, you really are. If your life is nothing but anime and manga, expect to drop at least half a grand there, you sad sobs. Import games from Japan tend to go for $30 to $150. You'd be surprised to know that they also sell accessories and import consoles from Japan for effortless import gaming if you're into that sort of thing. They're not cheap however, a Japanese PSP will run you over $250 over the domestic model which is about $169. Make sure you don't buy from Japan video games as they have a horrible habit of making a prices and sales tax on the spot and they tend to screw you over at least once before the transaction's finished. Please make sure you shop around before you buy anything from Japan video games, they tend to rip you off. They even make up prices on the spot, and they hold their no-refund policy by not giving you a receipt. They also tend to charge you sales tax, unlike any of the other vendors. As an example, at X2010 they were selling Hatsune Meet You, Reject Diva for $60 plus tax, while a nearby arcade specialty dealer was selling it for $40, tax-free. What the hell? Wall posters and wall scrolls are $12 to $16. Enemy figurines are anywhere from $25 to $350. DVDs are $20 to $40, and box sets can run higher. Manga can be as cheap as $5 or as high as $13. Shop around, many have theirs half off cover price with a good selection to boot. Cell phone charms are about $8. Here's one that was lovingly hand painted and was rescued by Moot Master. He says he found this one on the floor outside of the exhibit hall. Or in Uyasha. Yaoi is rampant, even more so than Yuri, and I, Loli Khan and Shotokan combined. Come prepared with one of these. Do not be tempted to open the packages, they will kill you. I am totally serious. Those swords they're selling are crap, and most are made of stainless steel, which makes them next to toy grade. Make sure you know what you're getting. Art supplies seem to be cheaper than at retail store or online prices, so stock up on them if you must. Plushies are horribly expensive. Stay away. Unless you just have to have it. 
Some of those Vocaloid plushies would be nice, but most of them are $30. Seriously? Surprisingly, Axis games were quite cheap, ranging from $20 to $40, and they included soundtrack CDs. If they show up next year, I recommend that you stop by. If it's the last day of the convention, try haggling for a cheaper price, you might get away with something for cheaper. Many of those retailers would rather sell something at a loss than have to lug their pile of merchandise back home. I have no blooming idea how the artist gallery works. I think people put deposits down to buy a table to sell their very evil quality fan art of anime and game characters. Is that how that works? Besides the exhibit hall, here are some pro tips. Yes, they're pro tips, there's no better word to describe them, no matter how lame the word may sound. <laughs> If you're tall, people will inevitably bump into you. It's like they don't even see you coming. What the hell? Try to avoid them by doing twirl maneuvers and quick cuts between people going to cross you, or you will be forever doomed to wait behind slow people moving at 4 inches a minute. Bring comfortable walking shoes. You will be doing a lot of standing and walking and more standing. And did I say more standing? Bring a backpack or have a pack mule in your group of otaku friends bring one. I cannot begin to explain how incredibly useful they are. Bring a belt, if you're anything like me, you will be doing a lot of running to catch up to your friends, just because you had to take a picture of those Rin and Lem Kagami neck cosplayers. Bring water. Preferably in some sort of refillable container, or even a carabiner. It's better than buying expensive coat, or even more expensive remuni. Unlike amusement parks, you can bring food into the convention center. Pack some lunch, or a bento, even if you're a no talk you. Food at the LACC is horribly expensive. There are several nameless cafeterias inside which sell substandard food at overblown prices. Most sell Asian specialties, like Chinese food, takoyaki and sushi. Taki is $3 a box, ramune is like 4 or 5, and the nearest outside restaurants are Burger King and McDonald's, which are about 15 minutes away by foot, and they're in the seedy part of South Park, next to the Korean Glory Church of Jesus Christ, which I believe is the reason for many of the slightly crazy individuals who loiter around there. No offense to the people who go there. Proceed with caution. Don't be a jerk, and press the emergency stop button on the escalators for ticks. You might think it's funny, but the AX staff just funnels all foot traffic around to the stairs, which is really irritating if there's a huge mob of people in front of you, walking slowly and not realizing that there's an even bigger mob trudging behind them. If we're gonna cosplay, don't go as Team Rocket or a Rocket Grunt. I swear there were like entire hordes of Team Rocket at AX10. At this point I was like, Team Rocket? Wow. How original. Nobody thought it was cool that all your friends came as Team Rocket after the hundredth time. Plan your time accordingly. All of the shows are always 5 to 15 minutes off schedule. And the concerts are always 30 to 45 minutes off schedule, no exceptions. And enjoy yourself, you spent anywhere from 45 to $150 for your ticket. So try going to all the free concerts and anime screenings you can. Don't spend all your time at the exhibit all looking for something to spend your money on. And don't be like those attention wars that just hang out at the lobby because they think they have the world's best cosplay, even though they probably do. Good luck, and don't make your cosplay entirely out of pajama flannel. It's rather easy for others to step on. Check out parts 2 and 3 if you want to see the suggestions for AX 2011 and the funny suggestions that will never come to fruition. This has been Stephen Hawking Coon, signing off. See you at Endemexpo 2011!